back to the video. In today's video, I'm going to go over some of the presents that opened up recently, as well as some more hidden updates that we didn't cover in the last video. So let's get started. So first up with the presents, we did get the other three buckets right over here that were available in the sets opened up. The Bucket of Lost Souls, the Web Bucket of Crawling Monsters, and the Whistling Bucket of Haunted Ghosts. All of these opened up now, and their items are over here in the front row. So first up from the first set, we do have Staring Eyeballs and Thorned Eyeball Crown. These are available from the Death Run set, and they only have around a thousand owners, so definitely not that bad. This crown looks pretty cool. Though definitely looks pretty fun, nice for Halloween as well, and this one also is very great, and you can definitely make a nice little outfit with these two eyeball themed items. Next up right over here we have Bidden Head, and this is from the Whistling Bucket of Haunted Ghosts. This is a pretty cool one, it's a nice looking head, definitely reminds you of Halloween as well, so definitely if you got this one, it has only around 500 owners, so definitely not that bad. Next up, Spider's Webbed Wings, these are actually really great, I think these are probably my favorite of the things that came out of the presents so far. It's a really well designed wing item, and also looks like spider legs as well, so definitely not that bad. A little bit less than 500 owners as well, so definitely if you got this one, I think this is definitely a great thing to get out of that. And we actually just got a new update right over here. This is just a bit after I recorded the video, but we did get to the ARG gift that opened up. So we have the Moon Mask and Retro Pumpkin over here, as well as the three other timed items that went off sale. Moon Mask is definitely pretty cool. It definitely looks kind of random, but that's why it's unique. And I think it looks pretty fun. You could definitely make a fun outfit with this one. It is also a head, so that's also pretty unique for it. But you can't change the skin or the eyes or anything. It'll just look like this, but it is a head. So that's pretty unique compared to a lot of the other items that cover the head. Next, the Retro pumpkin. This one's also pretty cool. It looks kind of like the launcher pumpkins that you were able to get for free, but now they have the party crown on top, and the party crown is a pretty popular series on Brick Hill, so that makes sense. That looks pretty cool, so if you finish the ARG, now you actually got this one. So basically all the presents have opened up now, and it will likely start with the Christmas teasers or updates in one of these first few days of December. But next, after you scroll past down, keep going to the Halloween items. You can see some of the ones that were on timers it makes sense that they're off sale, but if you keep scrolling down a bit more, you can see some of the just the regular items items that were just on sale without timers actually went off sale. And this isn't something that's new. They did this for Halloween a couple of times where some of the non-timer items go off sale. And that is actually the case what happened here. So we're actually going to see that a lot of them ended up going off sale. So a lot of them are actually pretty rare. So I would definitely recommend for next year for Halloween if there is something that is not a timer. I would just get it just in case because you can never be too sure what will happen. But for over here this was the decaying candy corn shot cone was one of the ones that were in that vote. I think it got third place and it is rarer than the bucket items. So definitely if you got it right now that was definitely a pretty good choice. Next, All Seeing Chain was a pretty affordable chain. It looks pretty nice, so if you got it, it only has around a thousand owners. Next up right over here, Skull to Reaper's Grin. This is actually a pretty rare item with only 74 copies, but it was a pretty expensive item as well. So if you got the Skull to Reaper's Hood and Grin, this is definitely a nice combination for that. And if we continue scrolling a bit more, we're gonna see a couple more things that pop up. Candy Coin Scarf only has around 300 owners, so definitely not that bad for a scarf item. It's a recent item, just made this year, so not that bad. If you got it originally, now it's a pretty rare item. Next up right over here, Hollow Sky Fi Mask, another pretty rare item too. I think it was 50 bucks, so if you got it originally, that's not that bad. It has less than 100 owners, so definitely a pretty rare one. Next up, but over here, you can see a lot of them went off sale as well. We got the two other vote items that went off sale, so if you got either of them, they're pretty good choices. Makeshift Pumpkin has over 2,000 owners, and Scarecrow's Hat has 750 exactly, so definitely not that bad over here. Leaf of Pumpkin, it's a nice looking face too. I think it was also a pretty expensive one, so if you got it, it has only 80 owners now, so definitely not that bad. And then also another face that I don't know if this one was expensive, but it doesn't have that many owners, so I don't think it was that cheap either, but definitely a nice one if you got it originally nowadays off sale. And also just letting you know, they brought back a lot of Halloween items this year as well, so I'm sure that a lot of these are going to go back on sale next year, so if you missed them right now, don't worry, they'll probably return next year as well. Next the Pallid Bunny Beanie, this is a pretty cool one, has a little bit less than 300 owners, and definitely a nice little beanie over here, so if you didn't get the Twitch one, you are able to get this Halloween one while it was available. Next up, Spooked Out Shades, this one was a returning item, so this one kind of makes sense why it went off sale. It was on a timer originally returned, so if you got it right now, now it is actually off sale. Next up, Rise Again, this one's also a pretty cool one, it's basically what one of the cards were for the Halloween events, so definitely very reminiscent really of that. So if you got this one, definitely a pretty nice choice. More returning items that went on sale that were available previously for limited time. So this makes sense. Kana's Blood and Candy Apple, same case over here. And some of these were actually on sale items, but they were just updated. But now they actually are off sale. The Purple Cat Top Hat, definitely a pretty cool one that they chose to go off sale. Has a couple hundred owners, so definitely not the rarest. But definitely a pretty nice one if you owned it. Bring Sign Bolts, also a pretty cool one. I can definitely see this one returning next year. So don't worry if you miss it right now. And Baby Beetle's Bulb Horns. I think there's a regular version, which aren't smaller ones. So if you can't get these, I think the bigger versions are still on sale. And the final section right over here, we do have five things over here. I think the trick cap might have been on a timer, but if not, it is off sale right now. So if you got it, it got a couple thousand owners, so definitely not that bad. And I think all of these that are over here are actually older items that were on sale, so none of these are actually new things, so they were out for a couple years already. So Be Cleaver looks pretty cool if you got it. 
It's a nice off steel. Orange and green witch hat is also a pretty cool one. There's a different version that you be able to get in the event, I think, last year. So if you got the event one, now you have another version that went off seal. Seeing candy, pretty cool one that went off seal, has less than a thousand owners. It's definitely not that bad. And the last thing, wing top hat was a pretty affordable top hat, but now it is off seal. So yeah, we got a large wave of kind of hidden items that went off seal. We covered the candy cone horns that went special yesterday. So seems like the rest of these went off seal, and some of them are actually on sale still. So definitely some pretty cool treasures right over here. And if you managed to get these, now they are actually unavailable. So yeah, those were the present items as well as some hidden off sales. So if you managed to get any of these, they're all pretty cool items. But yeah, if you do want to check out this event page with the presents over here or the shop page, I'll link them both in the description so go get them. And yeah, that's pretty much the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.